Hi friend, this is Tech Expert Neil, and you are watching HowIsAll.com. In today's video, I will show you how you can install Kali Linux on your Android phone. This will be a step-by-step -step guide, and you do not need a rooted Android phone. You just need an Android device which has an Android version between 7 to 11. At present, Android version greater than 11 is having some problem with this particular method. We will be installing Kali Linux using the Termux app. Apart from the Termux app, we will be using a VNC client. Basically, a VNC server will be running in the Termux, which will allow us to view the Kali Linux interface using a VNC client. So that's how we will get Kali Linux on your standard non-rooted Android device. So I'll show you step by step how it is to be done. You'll need at least 10 GB free in your Android device to install Kali Linux. If you plan to add all the Kali Linux tools, then you might require even more space in your phone. So if you have got more space, you can download all the tools that the Kali Linux NetHunter has and you can get Kali Linux on your Android phone. So without wasting much time, let's get started. Okay friends, the first step will be to install the apps which you require for this particular Kali Linux installation. The first app that we'll be installing is Termux. So to install that, we'll open Chrome and then in Google type Termux GitHub. This particular app is not available in the Play Store. It's available but the version is quite old and you need the latest version for this to work properly. So we'll go in Termux and in over here Termux app. You basically have to go in the releases section. If you scroll down and over here you will see the releases section. You can get the releases section directly by Google searching Termux GitHub releases. And this will bring up the releases section directly. So in the releases section you will find the latest version. In my case it is 0 0.118.0. Over here you will find different versions of the Android app. The Termux Android app. And depending on your CPU of your Android phone you have to select the version. If you are unsure, you can go for the universal version over here. In my case, I am using a Xiaomi Mi A1 phone which supports the ARM 8A version. So I will download the 64-bit 8A version of the app over here. I have already downloaded it. So now we will go click on this to start the installation process. If your phone does not support the 8A version, try the 7A version. If that also doesn't work, then go for the universal version. So I'll install this by clicking on this package installer just once and if you have not given the permissions to install app from outside the play store then you will need to provide that permission that is quite easy you have to go in settings and in chrome type chrome and go in chrome app and in this in go in permissions go in advanced and install unknown app make sure this is allowed toggle this feature on it does not require any root access or anything like that once you have done this you can straight away install the app by clicking on the install button over here and it should get installed you can see the app was installed now the next in app to install is the vnc viewer app i have already installed it and this app is available in the play store i'll show you the name of the app this is the name of the vnc viewer i'll show you in play store how it's named we'll open play store and type in vnc viewer and this is the version of the app which i have installed vnc viewer remote desktop real vnc limited so these two apps are required to install kali linux on your android phone now we'll start the installation process we'll open the termux app so we'll open the termux app we just now installed when you install the termux app for the first time it will install some packages so once that is completed you should see this kind of prompt. The first command that we have to type is apt update. apt update and hit enter. This will basically update all the packages that are present in your Termux installation and then type apt create y and hit enter. This will install all the updated packages for your Termux installation. So we will be sure that all the packages are the latest version so we'll let it complete this step it will ask you whether you want to keep the current version that is present let the defaults be so we'll simply hit enter and it should start processing the other packages 
again we'll keep the defaults just keep the defaults by hitting enter if you see any prompts then you just have to hit enter and it will keep the defaults do not change any file that is already present on your termux installation okay friends we have updated all the packages of our termux app now we will start the installation of the kali linux before we do that we will type the command termux setup storage you will now see the termux app as asking for storage permission grant this storage permission by clicking on allow over here so this allows the termux app to use your phone's internal storage to store the files that will be needed for the kali linux installation now we will install the wget command for that we will type package install wget click type yes and hit enter okay so now wget has been installed and now we can type the nethunter command so type in wget o install nethunter termux http s e c 2 m c e z w r this is the command for installing kali linux nethunter so we'll hit enter and this will download all the packages required for kali linux nethunter once it's done type in ch mod plus x basically we will be granting executive rights to the script file that we just now downloaded for installing kali linux hit enter so this will grant the executive rights to the script file that we downloaded just now and now we'll run this script file by typing dot slash install net hunter termux and hit enter this is a setup file this will first download all the packages and it will take some time so i'll pause the video over here and once this setup process is finished we'll then see what is the next step for running kali linux on your android device okay friends the downloading and the extraction process has finished you can see it has downloaded a lot of files and uh, you can see 1.7 gb file it has downloaded and now it's asking me whether you i want to delete the downloaded file which it has already extracted so basically it had downloaded a zip file and now it's asking me whether i want to delete the downloaded zip file so because it has already extracted the zip files i'll select yes by typing y and then hit enter and you can see now it says the net enter has been installed and now if we are launching this for the first time we need to set the password so to set the password we have to type net hunter e x password hit enter and type the password as anything i'll type p a double s okay it has to be six characters long so one two three four five six one two three four five six would you like to enter a view only password no i'll select n and hit enter and now i also set the password for the root version so to do that instead of typing net enter every time you can type nh at the short form and then for the root version under colon r and then again the same thing e x and p a s w d hit enter one two three four five six one two three four no okay once you have set the password the next step is to launch the graphical user interface to do that we'll type in nh k e x and then m percent and then hit enter and you can see the vnc server has started running and now we can use a vnc client to connect to this server you can see the details of this server it will be running on local host and it uses the port 5901 and uh, we'll now go to our vnc viewer and check whether we can log into our newly installed kali linux system so we'll tap on the new button and type the address 127.0.0.1 click next and type in kali linux one second we need to mention the port also so one second we'll edit this we need to edit it okay the port is 5901 done connect and you'll see this warning only the first time 
you can see warn me every time you can disable this by clicking on this turning this off and click ok now it will ask for the credential we have already set the password just now you just have to type the same password in my case i have set one two three four five six and there you go you can see the mm. the colors are not that great you can fix that i think mm. picture quality you can see it's set at automatic you can keep that at high and that will fix the picture quality apart from that other things are fine okay so this is how you install kali linux on your phone you can see this this is a full version of kali linux wor working perfectly fine except that i will need to connect a bigger display an external usb keyboard and mouse receiver so that it works flawlessly like a normal computer so i hope friends you like this video it takes a lot of effort to make these detailed step by step video if yes smack that like button share this with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel howasol.com we have got lots of videos planned in the future hit that bell icon to get notified as soon as i release a new video thanks for watching friends this is neil signing off bye bye